weather's not looking great, but it's like 5.40 a.m. I'm gonna start having some coffee and do some editing. Maybe it'll pass. Probably gonna throw it right. Breakfast is done, edited a video, starting to upload, shower, get my life together. Full day of throwing today, and then go to the airport, because I leave Alaska at like 1.15 a.m. Not gonna be real cool. Thumbs up. Shower's got like two temperatures, scalding and goddamn frigid. This overhead lighting though, Right? Look in Trap City. Trap, Trap City, yo. Alright, it's a little crummier weather today, but the ground's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, we've got four events left. We have a Braemar Stone, we have Heavy Hammer. Weight over bar, lightweight for distance, and a challenge caber? Yeah, that's what we got. How you feeling going into day two, Nathan? Uh, not as good as going into day one. All, all the bad events today. Aw, boo. boo. Probably time to uh, get moving around a little bit. Mostly make the new one. I think we've got some competition for who's having more Took fun. forever yesterday. Walking over for opening you ceremonies. Check out our vendors. Get yourself some Yay! Or... Opening ceremonies. Making some noise down there. I got uh, my arch nemesis, Mark Dan McKim, here with me. It's been a real biting rivalry, Dan. I don't know how we stomach each other. How you feeling today? Well, uh, feeling pretty good. How about you, man? Yeah, not bad, man. We got a lot of sleep yesterday. I know, isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. Well? Slept really good. <laughs> Amazing what happens when you got a three hour time change. <laughs> yeah. Sleep. Sleep really good. Alright, opening ceremony. He's going to see some bagpipes. Stand there with flags. Just about time to get things cracking. All right, let's do it. Start with some stones. Uh, I think I got no, no, through 41.6, so that's good. Um, I don't know where that put me. I think it put me right behind Dan, so I'm either fourth. I don't know where Lucas is. Oh, good. And so, classical at all the tournaments. 
You're gonna get interviewed. May as well get interviewed by Kaz. Looking for a slot. That's it. Gotta work in. Man, you did fantastic so far. <laughs> Yesterday you were great. Today you're even better. Yeah. Yeah. My guy Francis Brebner, he's a little bit wordy. Yeah, you know, once he gets on a roll, looks like he's giving me a break. Matt, so tell me, second place. I know you're not satisfied with that. It's a little bit under your PR. How did it feel out there? Felt pretty good. It's a good push, but uh, not quite enough to catch Dan right now. Gonna have to keep fighting. Make him be perfect, you know? Well, <laughs> if you keep working on it, you'll be perfect. How about the next event, 28? 28's a good event for me. Go ahead and uh, give her all she's got. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, cheers. This is fun. Yeah, it's good stuff. Alaska! <laughs> hammer it's as good as I could have hoped for with the way training's been I'll take it uh, that that solidified a second place wait over more platform championship in the books I got a sweet second place actually pretty stoked on that with knee surgery and the way training's kind of been hit or miss all in all pretty stoked it was not a close second though Dan really put the coals to me all right challenge caber good fun so that's it. That's my whole trip to Alaska. That's the world championships. That's both days. Uh, I don't think I got any footage of the challenge caber. Sorry. A couple pictures. I'll post those on Instagram. Um, kind of a review. The only thing I'm disappointed about and how I threw really was... Yes, hammers. But hammers have been really shit in training. And I don't have a reason for that. They just have been. I just lost it. It's one of those things that happens with throwing, right? Especially with the Highland Games. I've got nine events. And so as soon as you push further toward one, you lose one. And sometimes you just lose one. It doesn't make any sense. You're not doing anything different. It's a minor cue you can't feel anymore. So you need someone else's eyes on it. Uh, I was lucky enough to get Dan to check it out while we were throwing and made a couple of adjustments and didn't totally eat shit on those two events. I threw... 134 and 104 which honestly is is like the better throws I've had in training over the last probably eight weeks um, where I started out this offseason was like 140 114 now those two numbers would have given me much much drastically different places in these two events possibly mm, a second and a third I don't think would have changed the overall I don't think that would have uh, had me catch him. But it wouldn't have hurt. 
who knows what that that extra bit does or how it changes how you feel or any of that but i'm really hoping i'll get the hammer sorted in scotland there's really no better place to throw them the ground is always good the weather's good um well the weather's not good but like you're not hot all in all alaska was amazing i really can't wait to go back there i want to spend some time hopefully next year if i can make it work out to go back to the game bring my wife and maybe spend an extra couple days to go do some adventure and fishing get on a boat i'd really like to see more i'd like to get up into denali and uh check all that out the place really just looks awesome this was a really fun trip and uh you know all the time I start to kind of think of like man maybe I'm kind of on the way out of the Highland Games like I'm tired maybe I don't want to do this that much longer and then a, a trip like this and I have such a good time that I can't imagine not having this part of my life right not to mention I made good money look I made four thousand dollars this past weekend throwing that's not bad for a sport right they covered our hotel they covered travel they gave us food and was really just awesome um, but that's that's it I really do love the sport I'm very proud of taking second place again Dan's amazing uh, got to try to take it out of him again in Scotland <sighs> all in all thanks for watching guys spread hate always party the next uh, travel bit will be from Scotland and I got some stuff coming between now and then but uh general training and whatnot and some all-around fuckery want to do some fucking off go to austin texas this weekend and meet up with chrissy spencer and some other guys i think float the river really hang out should be a great relaxing weekend for the fourth of july and there it is there's your world championships thank you guys for watching please like share like subscribe share those things all help and uh Thanks for the info and I'm glad you guys liked the video so far.